guys welcome back to another week's vlog um today is january the 25th we are about to go run some errands real quick um i want to go to target um i'm trying i want to revamp my wardrobe and i want to get some staple pieces in my wardrobe so I'm about to get off in about um, 45 minutes. I've been working overtime all this week, which is fine. I have some things that I want to take care of, but um, we're going to go to Target and pick up some groceries. And then I also want to look to see what um, they have, anything like stable pieces. Um, my computer just timed out. <laughs> I'm still worthy, y'all. And um, look for some stable pieces and then um, see what they have. I need some new jeans. I realized that. I think I was watching um, High Low Lux and we, she was, and I was watching um, Jerenica Mycia. And they were talking about like having stable pieces in your collection and not buying things that you don't absolutely love. So I need to, I have some things in my closet that I bought because they were on sale and stuff, but I don't absolutely love them. So I do need to purge my closet. I do have about five big full bags of stuff in my guest room that needs to go to Goodwill. Um, I have not done that as of yet. Um, and then I just really want to go through some of the pieces that I have now and see what I don't, I haven't worn. Um, I do have pieces that I do love, but I have pieces that I have not worn only because I don't want to see my closet looking empty. <laughs> um, I used to buy a lot more clothes when I used to go into the office. We work from home. So half of the time I'm in my pajamas working. So I'm going to go see if we find a few pieces today. Not a whole lot, just a few pieces. I have a lot of stuff that's going on <laughs> within the next couple of weeks. Um, in February, all my weekends are booked. Um, March, not so much. And then I turned 40 in April and we are going to Jamaica. So I'm excited about that. So I need to, I have bathing suits that I have not worn. I am going to pick up some, a few more because... I'm showing all skin. <laughs> showing all skin. <laughs> so, um, but when I get to Target, you guys, or I might do a Target haul when I get back. We'll see how packed it is when I get there. My sister's also meeting us in Target as well. So, yeah, I know how that's going to go. All right, you guys, we are in Target, but I wanted to, sh I mean, not Target, Ross, real quick. Look what, <laughs> y'all, yeah, the bags under my eyes are Chanel. That is too cute. But I don't need any more signs for my claw fist because I have everything. Did you see anything? Okay. So, I don't see. I need stuff, but I don't see anything that I want. This is kind of cute, but. Mm -mm. Oh, it's chilly out tonight. So, we had to enter Target. earlier you guys this candle smells so good so good um this one smells okay but i like this one better and let's see what this fresh sea salt smells No, no, y'all. I still like the fresh strawberry hibiscus one. Let me see what this pineapple one smells like. This one smells good too, if you like pineapple, which I do, but. What is that? Coconut woods too? Let me see. Mm, this smells plasticky. I think that's the only one. I got a whole bunch. Peony and 
cherry blossom. Hmm, this one doesn't smell bad either. This one doesn't smell bad. I might add it to the cart and then winter mint and I've never liked um, eucalyptus. I've never been a fan of that. What else do they have? This is, oh, let me see what this is, y'all. That's not bad, but $12, I don't know if that, and then this, they have red mandarin and guava. Mm, maybe, this is like a good, fresh, I might get that. Did I ever try coconut and white wood? I did. This is the one I said this smells plasticky. Um, charcoal. Y'all, have y'all watched this? It is um Kingdom Business. We got Soraya. I think Yolanda Adams. This is actually pretty good. I'm on episode number two. Ooh. Hi, y'all. I am here working, but it's about 1040. I'm having a late um, breakfast, but I am having these little hash rounds from... Well, there's just little hash rounds that I normally will get from Chick-fil-A, but I found my own at the store. And sometimes I usually eat Polynesian sauce, but I opted out for ketchup. I burnt one of my <laughs> bacon, y'all. Not, yeah, my turkey bacon that I have on my plate. And then I am just watching Jerenica Micey. I don't know why I could never say her name right, but I am like four days behind on my... YouTube um, videos catching up, so I'm here, and yeah, I'm just having this little quick breakfast before I go walk Eddie. All right, y'all, I am on my lunch. Um, I just finished washing my hair, but I'm going to try the, of course, y'all know I like, I like the Mayo line, but I normally use the, um, I normally use the, this is the line that I normally use um, on my hair, the rosemary mint um, strengthening leave-in, and then I use, I still I use this, um, the coil scalping custard, but I think I'm going to use the whole line today. Um, I didn't wash my hair, I co-washed my hair today because it wasn't as dirty, and I only literally shampoo my hair like maybe once a month. So I'm gonna use the leave-in today, and I'm gonna use this, which I use all the time, but I normally use the green one, not this, but I'm gonna use this today. And then, of course, I do use my um, infused biotin um, strengthening oil. So I'm gonna use these three products. I'm gonna see if my twist out is gonna come out. I've been loving my twist outs lately. And of course, I'm not got my comb. I've been loving my twist outs lately, so I'm gonna see how this comes out. And it will probably be tomorrow because today is Friday. Um, I am just gonna stay in tonight um, and watch some Netflix. And then tomorrow, uh, I have um, a brunch. Um, I have brunch a brunch date, and then other errands to run tomorrow. And then. Sunday is my nephew's first birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. So I will come back and show y'all how my twist out looks. It may look the same, but we'll see. But these are the products that I use. I'm using on this twist out go around. And yeah, you guys see I haven't even used this yet because when I ordered it from Ulta, it still had the stuff on it because I've been using the green line. So, but... Yeah, my um, let me see. So my Camille Rose had to take a back seat because these are normally what I use, y'all. Let me show y'all. I normally use the Camille Rose uh curl maker, and I normally use the 
moisturizer milk. So I normally use these two together, of course, with an oil. And typically, this is an oil mixture that I also have here in this <laughs> do grow. It's not do grow in here. It's a mixture of a lot of oils that I use um, as well. I actually use this when I'm taking out my twist out. So this is what I use on my scalp, around my edges and stuff. And then when I'm taking my twist outs, like the next day or whenever is when I use this. But my uh, Camille had to take a little back seat just for a little bit. I still love their products, but I felt like my hair for the last five, six years has gotten so used to this. It it wasn't like doing anything. So I'm still going to finish off these products because there is a lot. You can see there's some here and then this goes right here. But and I'll go back to it, but we'll see. All right, you guys. I am about to create a special piece for my niece. Um, I did buy this jacket from Macy's. Um, it did come with its own designs. Um, I did get her name engraved on the back. So now Auntie is about to spruce this up from Auntie's baby. Hey guys, so I just finished my niece's jacket. Um, her name is Riley, of course. So I did go ahead and put on this little, I didn't want everything to be like in order or I just wanted to feel like it was just thrown on. Um, I did go ahead and got her a little bow up here. She has this little heart thing going on. Um, her star and then this little pink lollipop and then on the front of it. Um, these already had came on with the jacket itself, um, these little stuff, and I just added a sweet little cupcake to the front. Um, I actually want to distress the jacket as well, but she's a baby. Um, she's seven months, so I don't know if I want to go ahead and do that now. If it was an adult jacket, which I have done in an adult jacket before, I would have went ahead and distressed it and put some whole bunch of stuff on it. But this is my niece's jacket. That's custom made. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday. I am getting ready to um, go have brunch with my sister. We started a new tradition and every other month, um, either she's gonna cook or I'm gonna cook or if you don't wanna cook, you will then have to treat the person if we decide to like, you know, make reservations and go out to um, brunch or lunch or dinner. So today's her day. So she's, we're doing brunch. Um, I'm currently working. I'm getting off at 12 and then I will be leaving here to go over there and have um, brunch. I don't know what's on the menu yet. Um, for my month, I'm doing February and I already have everything that's in place that I'm gonna do. But I wanted to come in and show you guys my twist out from when I washed my hair yesterday. So this is my twist outs. I have about um, nine twist outs in my hair. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how I take this out. Now, if you guys want to, um, want me to give you guys a full rundown of how I wash my hair, the products and stuff that I use, I mean, I would definitely let you guys know that just let me know in the comments if you want me to do that so this is the oil that i use it has a lot of mixture of a lot of things they do grows in here i think i have peppermint um um i have peppermint jehovah oil it's like a lot of different oil biotin oil that's in here so i typically just take um, a little bit on my hand and i rub it together so that when i do take my twist out out so i just take my time um, my curls are going to be a little bit tight because um, I did just wash it. So this is how they look. So I just go in and I take them out. I take all of them out and then I go in section by section. And then I um, open them up a little bit um, more. So I'll just show you how I open them up. And I think there's nine in here. Yeah, I think there's nine that I have in here. So, and then I just go back in with some more. It's just gonna depend on how you want to do it. So these are my sections and I just go in and then I just break them apart. Um, usually I can feel when they're 
um, they need to like come apart or where they need to come apart at. So this is how it looks so far. You guys can see um, it's really defined and I'll just do another one here. But yeah, your hair should come apart. And then there's another one and you just keep going. And then what I'll do, I'll do just this one so you guys can see. This is the front one. So I could, like I just broke that down a little bit more. I'm really liking the my L line. So this is the pomegranate line that I use. I've actually been using the green line, which is the um the rosemary line. But right now, I'm really not seeing much of a difference from the twist out between the green line and the pomegranate line. So I'm actually loving it. So I'm gonna go ahead and these are my curls. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish taking out my hair, and I'm gonna I use a pick to make it a little bit bigger because of course I said this is day one. So I use this pick, um, it's the plastic one. I don't use the metal one. I use this pick to pick it out, make it fuller and um, bigger. Um, I will come back and show you guys the finished product um, after um, I'm done taking everything out. Okay, so I came back in to show you guys what my hair looks like um, picked out. Um, I'm going to change my earrings so I can have something bigger um, to show. But yeah, these are my curls. Um, and then I had laid down my edges. But um, so day one is normally always like tight. Um, the curls are tight. You can really see how defined they are. Um, and then like day two, day three, my hair will get bigger. Sometimes my hair would then, um, the curls would form but right now it's in um, the middle, it'll form and it'll become a bang. So when I put it up at night, I put it up in a pineapple um, and then with my sew scarf and then like when the next day, um, hopefully tomorrow I'll see if it's able to do the bang and it easy looks, I really love it when it like has a bang and then it's um, nice and full. But um, you yeah, guys, this is the um, twist out. I washed my hair yesterday. Um, and I actually just, you know, the curls are really defined. Um, like I did say, if you guys want me to do like a, a wash routine, um, of the products that I do use, um, I have, um, when I, be, when I did my big chop, I had went to the all natural here, um, salon and they said I was a three C, um, hair type because, um, when I do my washing goes, I don't do them too often because I don't really like how tight, tight my curls are. But they were saying my curls are not really that tight. Um, so she graded me as a 4C. Um, but I don't really like doing washing goes. They, I just don't like them on me. I like doing the twist outs where, you know, my hair is just like this. Um, and I can kind of like control it. Some of my curls are not the same all over. Um my head and the back they're really like loose loose curls and then like in one side um it's like really really tight um so i don't really do a lot of i don't really do um wash and goes i do twist outs so and then this is the product the final product of it and i mean i love it um the best thing i ever did for my hair um i've always had a decent length hair but the best thing i did for my hair was go natural um the products are expensive but it's definitely worth um it my daughter's also natural she's 14 but we don't have the same hair type so i have different products for me and she has different products that for her but if you guys are looking to try something new i really love the my l brand i still like the camille rose but I feel like I've been getting really better results with my my L brand. And either line could work, the pomegranate line or the green line. So the pomegranate, I believe it's kind of like a red maroon. And then, of course, the green line as well. So if you guys are looking for new products to try in your hair, twist outs, and maybe the wash and goes, um, you can try it. But I definitely am loving my twist outs with these products. Hi, right, y'all. So this is what I have on today to head out. 
Um, y'all, I am actually loving my hair. It is so bouncy and just, can y'all see the curls? Come through curls. I'm just loving it. Like I am loving my L, but I just came in real quick, y'all. I'm about to leave. Um, <laughs> it's, yeah, don't judge me. Um, I have on this sweater. It is from Banana Republic. I got this years ago and I love it because it's like oversized. I am feeling bloated and stuff, and I'm just like, Ugh. so it's oversized. I do have a cami underneath. It's just a black cami. I couldn't find a tan one. And then I have on my mom jeans that I got from Nordstrom, and then I have on my UGG UGGs um, because I just need to be comfortable. It is cold today in Georgia, so yeah. And then the scent of the day that I already put on um, is the YSL Intense. So we are about to hit these streets, y'all. Um, so I'm going over to my sister's for brunch. She already texted me a picture of our mimosas. And then I want to go to the thrift store. I am looking for a black blazer. I have a style. So I have a lot of stuff coming up for next month. Something on the 4th, something on the 11th, something on the 18th and then i'm hosting me and my sister's um sister day which she's hosting today and i have it on the 28th so um i have an outfit i have in mind i have these tights that have prints on it that's supposed to be out for delivery today so and i need a black blazer and i don't want to i don't feel like i'm gonna wear it a lot so i just want to see if maybe the thrift store has one that i can get in a men's section and probably like tailor it or just an oversized one because I don't want to wear nothing underneath it and I just want to have these leggings that have these prints because on the 18th I have a all black birthday event to go to we're going to dinner and then we're going to a lounge and that outfit I just think is going to be so cute the outfits come in it was out for delivery um so the leggings are out and so I'm, I'll show you guys but I just wanted to come in I'm about to head out and have something to eat because I haven't really eaten today. Um, I just got off of work. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk about my birthday trip. I told you guys I'm going to Jamaica for my 40th. So um, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to discuss that today um, and stuff like that. So, okay. I do not know how to open this thing. You do, yeah, it's not going to pop off yet. You got to pull it off. I got to pull it off? Yeah, just pull it a little bit and it just shouldn't pop off. <laughs> Cheers! Okay. How cute is this little setup for our little brunch? Brunch. She all in my way. <laughs> Look at our brunch, you guys. Shrimp and grits. Mmm. And we have some. Wings, turkey bacon, some eggs. My niece is over there like, what is going on? Look at this, you guys. Why would you do that? And my drinks. <laughs> the aftermath of brunch at my sister's house. So we stopped at Home Depot real quick. Um, I do like these um, Thai bee bowls um, that I get from Home Goods. I mean, not Home Goods. <laughs> Home Depot, they're the velvet um, kind. Um, when you flush your bowl, they are purple. Most of them that you get, they're blue, but I really like this pack that we have. And then I do use a couple of different um, plugins for the house. I use um, the Febreze. This is my favorite scent that we use, which is Downy April Fresh. And then we do use, you know, um, the Glade plugins um, and also the. Um, the plugins, the wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. I um, also got this. Want to try this out in my pantry? We do have a pantry, and there's no light in the pantry. So um, when we first moved in the house a couple of years ago, I had bought like a stick-on light from Walmart, and over time, it just kept on falling and doing its work. So I'm gonna see if this is gonna work um, in there. We also picked up some batteries too for it because it does take three um triple a's we also went to Alta. actually why i went to Alta. don't need nothing Alta. um i wanted to re-up on just to have a backup 
of the Mayel Coil Scalp and Custard. I love this product for my hair. Um, my daughter convinced me to get this Last Princess. No, damn well, I don't need to use any of this stuff, but I bought it. Um, I did pick up two Burt's Bees in a pomegranate scent. I normally get the Jack Black, um, the Jack Black lip, um, lip balm, but y'all, that Jack Black used to be $8.99. It's $10. So these Burt's Bees, like I said, I got two. They were, um, $3.99. So I just picked that up. Um, I wanted to get a new satin, um, bonnet for my hair. When I do my pineapples with my twist outs, I got that. And then I really want to get into like self-care Sundays um, with doing um, face masks. So some of these are Chloe's. I think she got two. I'm not really sure which one she got, but she got two, I think. And then I think I picked up a couple. And yeah, I think I picked up four. So we have six total. And she has two out of the six that I picked up from um Ulta. I also went into Bath and Body Works to get my free items before <laughs> before it expired but my free item was a wallflower so I picked up the pineapple mango and then I had another free item and Chloe picked up one of her favorite um scents from Bath and Body is a strawberry pound cake so she picked that up. Yeah. I also went into Sephora um, I wanted to get some, um, eye patches. So I picked up these Sephora brand eye patches. I just got four. This is in the, um, caffeine. I got two caffeine and then I got two, um, pomegranate just to try them. I really want to do like some skin care, like self care Sunday with masks and stuff. Sorry if you guys hear Ellie pouting. She just came from outside and then y'all. I went to Target and I found the cutest vase to put my pompous in. I ordered some pompous from Amazon and I don't like the container it came in and I found this at um, Target. Target gets you in trouble every time. So I definitely am excited to see how my pompous grass is going to look for my table. It was $25. So I have that and then Chloe found these little um, ear cuffs that she liked. Um, so we picked these up for her too. And I think these were $9.99. And then y'all, I have two packages outside from Amazon. So I'm about to go grab this from the front door. So yeah, I did some damage today. <laughs> so yeah, all the stuff that I got um, here. I wanted to come back in and show you guys how my pompous grass is looking in my vase. I absolutely love it. So this is the pompous grass. Y'all, this looks so good. Now, it told me I needed to leave this pompous grass outside for four out, four to six hours. Um, every couple of days, there go Ellie. Every couple of days, I was um, leaving it outside. I'm supposed to, it's shut in. I'm supposed to um, spray it with um, hairspray. Yeah, I don't got no hairspray. I'm black, I don't got no hairspray. So, but I love it. It came, y'all. So, it came in this thing. I don't know what. Now, there was two options that I could have gotten in. It was this, which you peel off the side of this or peel this off, but I never got to peeling it off. And then it came like in a box, um, like a box design. But yeah, mm -mm. but I love this, um, this combo right here. I think this pompous looks so good. So, so good. So just wanted to come in and show you guys what it looks like in my vase. Birthday to you.